now joined on the phone by the vice president for athletics at Shepherd University, Chauncey Wimbush. How are you doing today, Chauncey? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? We're doing great as well. And a lot of things going on in the kind of the fundraising arm of Shepherd over the next little bit. Uh, one thing we found a sneak peek on social media a few weeks ago was uh, the fundraising to get a new scoreboard in the name of a, a big fan that, that uh, unfortunately passed away recently. Yeah, uh, Sarah Lewick, for those that um, have been around Jefferson County for the last, you know, five decades, she was an amazing woman and someone who was just so supportive of uh, Shepherd University and specifically our athletic program. So we thought, you know, something to memorialize her like this, the scoreboard, her and, you know, obviously Al would be um, a great project to um, put forward to the community and see if we could raise some funds for so how can people help this scoreboard become a reality at Ram Stadium? Yeah, so we are, again, trying to raise funds. Um, the Shepherd University Athletic Club, we have a web page, um, suathleticclub.org. If you were to go to that page and click on current fundraisers, you would see the Allen and Sarah Lewick scoreboard. So you can obviously go there um, to donate. Um, we're also... Uh, working on different corporate sponsorships as well. On the board, there would be opportunities for static advertising. So, you know, I think that's one of the great um, parts of this whole process that it would give Shepherd University Athletics another asset that we could potentially use to raise funds in support of our athletic program. Chauncey, what is the goal for this fundraiser and is there a time frame that it needs to be done by? Yeah, so we have raised about $130,000. Uh, the goal is $300,000. Um, you know, probably over the next few weeks is, is when we need to have those funds secured one way or another. Uh, the goal is to have the board in by our first home football game on September 2nd. So the clock is ticking and, you know, kind of time is running out to an extent. But, you know, that's kind of where we are right now. So in replacing the scoreboard there, would you place it exactly where the old one is or move it to a different location in the stadium? Yeah, we're, we're still kind of bouncing around uh, the, the perfect spot for, for the board. Um, so obviously, you know, on top of Boone Fieldhouse is, is one, uh, one place that we could put it. I think the concern there is, you know, we're hoping to uh, do some renovations down the road to Boone Fieldhouse. So we would be concerned about, um, you know, having to deal with the scoreboard and, and all of that stuff. On the opposite end of the field, um, kind of where those, those trees are on the other side, if you will, is probably the ideal um, spot for, for the board. It would give everybody inside the stadium, you know, a pretty solid view um, of the new scoreboard. And again, this is going to be, you know, an LED board. So we, you know, are excited about the potential for, you know, replays and, you know, some interactive stuff with, with the crowd and, you know, all, all of the good things that come along with that type of technology. And Chauncey, uh, you know, scoreboards in college football are becoming a recruiting tool. I know Marshall is getting a new scoreboard. Theirs is going to be, I think, $1.2 million, which seems, you know, crazy to a lot of people down there. Uh, but... For D2 level and for you guys, how do you think it will help in the recruiting aspect as well to get a new scoreboard? Um, you know, I, I think that our stadium is, you know, a really great facility, you know, in comparison to, you know, the other institutions within our, our region. You know, I think our, our, our facility is right there. I think the one thing that we're absolutely missing is is a scoreboard. So, you know, to be able to utilize that, you know, and enhance the environment from a game day standpoint is, you know, really the goal after all. And then from a recruiting standpoint, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of the high schools that we are recruiting student athletes from, you know, they probably have some decent boards as well. So we just want to make sure that we're putting ourselves on par with, you know, the type of kids that we're recruiting and certainly on par with, you know, our opponents uh, and competitors within the region. Chauncey, I'm going to switch over to some improvements for uh, soccer now and get your comments about that. Yeah. 
So we have a, a smaller uh, fundraiser going on. It's a fifty thousand dollar fundraiser that would um, allow us to bring some backstop netting um, to the to the stadium, some covered benches. The covered benches is something that is you know kind of status quo at a lot of institutions and a lot of a lot of fields. Uh, that certainly would help with weather, whether it be rain or, or sun and and things of that nature. And then just some branding around the the perimeter of the facility. So again, that's a sixty thousand dollar project that we're attempting to raise dollars for in support of our men's and women's soccer programs. And Chauncey, we've basically finished the twenty twenty two twenty twenty three you know athletic year. Uh, what's kind of the state of Shepherd Athletics heading into this next school year? Yeah, so we um, are obviously excited about, you know, everything that's been going on, you know, from a a football standpoint with, you know, Tyson and and Joey and Ronnie and and Brian. And um, we're hopefully feeding off of that from a recruiting standpoint with regards to football. Um, All of our other sports are doing a a really solid job from a recruiting standpoint. We have a lot of new student athletes that will be coming in, whether it be freshmen or transfers to, you know, hopefully help enhance what we're doing from a soccer standpoint, from a volleyball standpoint, from, you know, men's and women's hoops, you know, baseball and softball. So, you know, we're always optimistic. We think we have a really great product here, a great location. And, you know, I know our coaches are out doing what they can to make sure that they're bringing in quality student athletes to to help us continue with the success we we're used to. And then uh, I know the Hall of Fame nominations are going on right now for the Shepherd Athletics Hall of Fame? How can people, I guess, nominate or, or how's that process working? Yeah, so on our website, uh, shepherdrams.com, you can find the Hall of Fame nomination form, and it's a you know a two-page application where you you know document um, all the pertinent information uh, for whomever you may be nominating. Um, you got to you know grab a couple of references, I think three references, if you will, and you know forward that over to Trip Ranson, our sports information director. Um, a couple of couple of weeks into June, the Hall of Fame committee will sit down and we'll take a look at you know the list of uh, nominees and you know we, we um, we'll, we'll pick three four or five folks that are deserving to to be honored in that way so that's always something um, that's really interesting that we get to do in the summertime as well and during the summertime and even the springtime right now it's a big time of the year for golf tournaments going on with different programs and i know that your guys is also coming up so give us the details on your guys' upcoming golf tournament yeah, so uh, on June 2nd, Friday, June 2nd at Crest Creek, we're actually hosting a two-person scramble, and the proceeds from that golf tournament will be um, supporting our men's and women's golf programs. And then we'll also, a couple of weeks later, have our annual football golf tournament, and that would be on Friday, June 16th. That's a, tra- a traditional four-person scramble, and again, you know, the proceeds for that uh, will, will go to support the football program so you know we are very busy with you know trying to raise some funds and put together some some golf tournaments over the next next month or so so that's certainly keeping us busy right now and you kind of talk about the what we've seen you know the national spotlight that tyson and joey and ronnie and uh, brian have brought but uh on the baseball side of things brenton doyle making it up to the majors and having you know having some success early that's probably brought some shine to the baseball program as well Absolutely amazing. Um, I obviously had an opportunity to to be around Britain um, for a few years. I think he's five years or so removed from the program, and you know that's you know sometimes that's how long it takes for you to kind of rise through the, the the minor leagues and get to the get the call to the big leagues. And you know we couldn't be any more uh, proud of Britain and the way that he's representing Shepherd University baseball. You know I know uh, Coach McCarty and Coach Smith they've been to a couple of games already. Where I think they went to uh, Cleveland and they've been up to Pittsburgh to, to check them out. And it's it's just really, really awesome. So, to, again, to continue to have some success on the professional level for, you know, student athletes that attended, you know, Shepherd University is, is just amazing. And, Chauncey, is there anything else that we missed that you'd like the audience to know? 
Um, you know, outside of all these great um, opportunities to support Shepherd Athletics, there's another event that we'll be having um, late summer. It's called uh, the Ram Fest, and it's, a, it's an event that is co-sponsored by the Shepherd University Athletic Club and the Rotary Club of Shepherdstown. We come together for an evening event on August 25th, which is also a Friday. Um, it's held at the Bavarian Inn. It brings together, you know, Shepherd Athletics, um, Rotarians, local businesses, um, the, the SUAC as well for just a really, really neat event. Great food, great beverages, and again, an opportunity to, to continue to support uh, the Shepherd University Athletic uh, Department. Chauncey Wimbush, our guest. Chauncey, thanks for the time, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. That was the Shepherd Vice President for Athletics, Chauncey Wimbush.